Caitlin, when I first met you, I had no idea I would be standing here today about to become your husband. It was 12 years ago at a nightclub in Toronto and you didn't remember who I was when I called you to check in the next morning. <laughs> Nor did you remember that I had a massive foreign accent. My friends used to joke around and say that I, I'm looking for a princess to fall in love with and that princes don't exist. But that night I walked into a club and I saw you. And whether it was your smile, your beautiful dress, or your fancy dance moves, <laughs> but I couldn't take my eyes off you the whole night. Kaylin, you made me the man I am today. It's been a long 12 years and you have been by my side every step of the way. The only thing that I would change is to ask you to marry me sooner. Thank you for always supporting and loving me unconditionally. I know I haven't always made that easy. Thank you for being you and always steer me in the right direction. Evan, for someone who usually has a lot to say about everything, as you know I do all the time, it was actually very hard to write these vows. Not because I didn't know what to say, I didn't have enough to write about, but because the love I feel for you couldn't possibly be summed up in a few sentences. I didn't fall in love with you. I think I walked into love with you. Every step of the way, eyes wide open, choosing you. And I would not change anything about our past or any experience we've been through because it led us here right now and it helped grow us into the people we are today. I love you because of a million tiny everyday things you do that you don't even realize that you're doing. But most of all, I love you because of the way you love me. No matter how many years we've been together or anything we've been through, I have never for one moment ever felt anything but overwhelming, consuming, unconditional love. At this time, it is now my honor, my delight, to declare you husband and wife. You may now seal your vows with a kiss. has always been the first one to take care of absolutely everybody in her life. But Evan, you've always been the one to take care of Caitlin. Thank you for that. So if we could please raise our glasses. Caitlin and Evan, we love you both so much and we're so excited to start your new adventures. Cheers. Woo! Woo!